Hi Taurus, welcome to this full moon ritual building reading. We are going to build a ritual for you so that you will have all kinds of support as you release something to get your life kicked into gear for the next 28 days, okay? I love the word flow. Let's flow some cards out onto the table here and see what the universe wants for you to be um, releasing on the full moon. Our first card, Magic Stream. This is your current um, situation, okay? The Magic Stream. You know, this makes me think that you have been kind of on a, on a run. Um, you've had a lot of things changing for the positive in your life, and you, ha you know what the flow feels like. In fact, there's parts of you that may think, how did this happen? You know, it's almost been easier than it should have been. And there's the sense of inner, like, how did I do this? Was this me that put this together? Um, so I would say that this is a great place to be in, in terms of using your imagination to create your next level. You know, this is like a glow up for you, um, Taurus. So this is a great energy to be going into this full moon. And this, um, and it's called a blood moon because there's a, an eclipse happening. So it really increases the um, the power to get our attention. Okay, the next um, the next card is about what's coming toward you with this energy, and what's coming towards you is the a sad embrace. Okay, so again, I'm noticing that the eight and the one um, is a nine, and four and five are nine, and so there's a cycle that's ending. There's something that's coming to an end, um, Taurus, and it's it's not a bad thing. Um, you're in that magical stream, but not everything goes into that stream. There's parts of life that have to be trimmed or pruned to go forward. Um, of course, this could suggest that there's a loss, but to me, I always love to remind myself that everything that's lost is not a loss. I mean, if this is a true loss, you need to take your time to do the work of recovery. But if this is an old memory that's coming up or an opportunity to, to change the storyline and to look at something from the past in a different way, then that would be a way for a new viewpoint to put a real embrace of love on a sad experience from your past, all right? In the center position, we have what you need to focus on to make this transitional move. I can already see a transitional story here. So this is what we're needing to focus on. Listening, uh-huh. Love the elephant, don't you? Listen, look at the music. So we have clues here. Birds, a little bird resting on the elephant. We have the music. So there's listening. So for sure, be sure to get your your doses of daily music. Um, create playlists for yourself. I use YouTube to do it. And and listen to music that, that brings you a lot of pleasure and dance, okay? Because whatever transition you're in is very like a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. I imagine if you interview the caterpillar most of the time, it's going to say, no, thank you. I like being a fat, lazy caterpillar. Don't make me turn into something else, right? And so that's kind of what we need to keep our ear peeled for. But um, you have all the guidance you need on the inside of you. These readings are really just to confirm, right? There isn't a resonance or that feeling of, oh my gosh, this person knows just what I'm going through. I can't explain why that happens. It happens to me when I listen to other tarot readers. But the reality is that you alone know what's best for you. So whatever you need to do to drop into that deeper space and get to know yourself even better, okay? And then the next one, this is the card. This is the card of that is um, what do we need to release? And we have come together. Interesting. Now, what would this mean? The come together card is a good card for sure. Um, because it's a sign of hope and all of that. So what would it mean? Let me give you a couple of takes that I have on it. See if it reminds you of your own story. 
Number one, it could be that a relationship or a partnership or a friendship has just gotten old. It's lost the initial sparkle. There's a longing and it might be uh, connected to the sad embrace, right? Maybe there's the, the loss of, of a couple feeling. Or this could be a breakup going on, right? But there's something about the coming together. Maybe it's falling apart or maybe you're putting so much attention onto something else that the attention is not the same as it was when these two giraffes came together. I love the giraffes. So, um, so when you are listening, when you're going to a quiet place before the ceremony, the ritual, I'll tell you how to do it in just a second here, okay? But as you prepare yourself, be sure to ask that inner question, is there anything in my life that's falling apart right now? And be very real with yourself, okay? And then you're not in it alone. You have your angels and helpers. So that message for them is flying. Okay, flying. Um, th it, if you were to look up in the air and see a, a giant horse, very gorgeous, um, with, with fairy wings flying, it would, it would be remarkable. You would stop and look. Okay. Um, there is something about your imagination that is going to be very helpful for you. Um, I, 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 well, I'll put it into the ritual, okay? But something about really imagining. I, the word visualizing is so overused, Taurus, but there's something, you're so grounded and you're so, you know, your energy likes to be anchored, you know, but there's the opposite of that in your imagination where you could be that butterfly and actually fly, right? So I really feel like this is a call to be imaginative. Remember back to when you were like eight, nine years old, what did you do? What kind of imaginary play did you participate in, okay? So now let's grab our moon cards and we're going to create the ritual. So the first step is just gather supplies. Get paper, pencil, a candle, some fresh flowers is a nice touch or some nice little statues or this little book of love I found at the flea market. How could I not have that, right? I mean, I can't help it. But all of these things represent um, they're something beautiful to me and that's why I will create the, a ritual with those in place. So um, you're going to get a pad of paper and a pencil because you're going to need that also. So our first um, card of your ritual is step up and lead. And then we have um, make time for self-love. Mm-hmm. And sorry, and go for it. Okay, so now you've got your paper and pencil. So this situation, this sad embrace, okay, whatever's going on with you, Taurus, that whatever it is that's departing, departed, you're carrying that sad embrace, you have to step up and take the lead for yourself. So on your piece of paper, I want you to draw a vertical line. And on the left side, I just want you to be very honest and write down just the tender parts. What is it that's hard about this particular release? Why is this hard to let go of? And just write a list of your feelings and be very honest with yourself. Take the lead for yourself, okay? And then the second step, make time for self-love. On the right-hand side of your paper, I want you to write down as many ideas that you can think of that are would be symbols of self-love. It doesn't matter if you can't quote unquote afford to have them right now, or you don't want, you don't see the need for it. I just want you to write it down. Some people love pedicures. Other people say, no, 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 my feet are ticklish and I don't want them touching my feet, whatever. But we'll write down at least five things that would be ways that you could demonstrate self-love. I like to color. I like to play my ukulele. I love to take the dogs for walks. I love to be in the garden. Those are all self-love because they're not working because I'm a little on the manic side with at any project and I need to take time just to relax and enjoy my life, okay? That's self-love. So now you've got your columns of paper, okay? I mean, you've one column on the left. Now I, on the column on the left where you write down all of the um, things that are troubling you about this release, you put at the top, you put God's responsibility or the divine's responsibility, the universe, but that's for the universe to take care of, okay? On the right side of the paper, put at the top, my responsibility. Got it? 
Now you might want to take a picture of the um, paper with your camera, I mean your phone, um, and to, uh, to seal the deal we're going to burn it. Burn it or uh, shred it or tear it. But we're, as, a, as a sign, also using your hands is a great way to bring healing to yourself. Anything you do with your hands. So we definitely want to use our hands making this list, making the fire, whatever it is that you want to use as your symbol of release. Okay? And go for it. Absolutely go for it. Trust. Because you are, you are coming from a beautiful place to a beautiful place. You're already flowing in many parts of your life. It's free flowing, but there is something holding you back. See this gray cloud here? There's something you all know what it is. Um, and so do this ritual and see if in two or three days you don't feel a lot better. Be sure to drink a lot of water and um, appreciate your own efforts for all that you've done so far, Taurus. Anyway, it's my pleasure to do this reading for you, and I hope it was a blessing. So go forth and prosper, and um, I can't wait to see you at the next reading.